folks let me just tell you how to connect to putty using cloudera cloudera i mean uh, how to put the type through accessible to cloudera or mapextra so when you open your cloudera you'll have this black screen obvious sorry blue screen obviously so you have to go to this terminal and type ifconfig all right you'll get an ip address starting with 192 but if you're getting broadcast running multicast or you're not getting ip then you i'll tell you the solution but the, if an ip starts with 192.168 then you can able to connect to putty remember this ip 192.168.17 then you should have already installed putty if you have not installed putty you can directly go ahead and download putty download putty you can go to this first link and can go to download putty and you can you can either download this and install or you can either download this also doesn't matter all right i'm just for now going ahead with this and click this putty the which got downloaded you'll get the putty open immediately and type the type e, which we got it 192.168.1.7 is what i have open it give cloud error as a login you'll get it the login give enter it'll ask the password password is also cloud error you'll not see it when you type it because of password just type cloud error and give enter you'll see it get logged in if you if you want to connect through mobex term mobex term you can install from here you download with just go to google mobex term download and type it and go to the first link and go to download now mobex term gets downloaded installer edition mobex term gets downloaded you will see a page with this you'll see one of the mobex term like this installer once you extract it or using 7-zip or extract here, using extract here or 7-zip, you see this installer downloaded. Just download a very normal install. You just have to install it. Next, giving next, 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 right? Finally, the Mobex term gets downloaded. And if you go and check in the start button, you'll see the Mobex term application installed already. Go to it and then you'll, you'll get a very blank page like this. Go to the, go to the top, go at the first icon at the top, type it SSH 192.168.17. Same one. You have to give OK. It will ask you the same login, Cloudera and Cloudera. You will ask the password, give Cloudera if it asks. That's it. You can connect like this. For if Mac folks wants to connect, Mac folks, you can directly go to your command line, which in case it should be terminal. In, in your case, it's going to be terminal. Open this terminal like this. Type SSH Cloudera at the rate of give that IP 198.168.1.7. Give yes if it asks. Yes or no. Give yes. It'll ask you the password. Give the password. You'll not see it, but it types at the back end. Give enter. See, either way you can do it. If the IP is not getting visible, like 192.168 is not getting visible go to this double computer button check you got any auto eth5 auto eth4 connect it and and close this terminal connect it close this connect this close the terminal and try if config again if still you don't see the ip address all right close this go to the mission settings go to the go to the network settings change this bridged if you have nat change it to bridged and give a check if in bridge it is not working check with host only if still it is not working just just give host only for example you gave it as bridge adapter and give okay that's it then again go to the double computer try to connect auto eth it rotates and again it gets connected from within few seconds and go to call a terminal again and type i of config you might see it if you still don't see it don't disturb this connect in the doubt session We'll see whether we can assist or can you do not worry you can start using everything in the terminal itself both are same whether you connect through putty or this terminal it's going to be the same don't worry about it all right yeah thank you